Hi everyone, I'm back. Oh, I've been dashing around uh, today. It's, um, let's see, uh, 2.30. So, um, had to go to work, yes. And um, then I had to buy some stuff, which I'll be sharing with you guys. And um, I thought I'd do a quick video because a lot of people are still asking me about the varnishing. And um, I thought I'd just do that. That's uh, no problem at all. I don't uh, mind uh, doing another one on the varnish because um, if it's still not clear, I will try to make it a little bit clearer. So, what you see down here is the uh, donations for April. And uh, I'd like to thank everyone because um, I've already put your money to uh, good use. I have bought this. This is my spinner thing now, but I bought, it's a sort of, um, it's from the USA actually, because it says uh, four gallons, two gallons, and um, it's the, a sort of a catchy, catch thing for all the uh, paint splatter. And then I'm hoping that when the paint splatters, that I can just peel it off the side and use it as uh, some decorating skin. So we'll see how that goes. Because I'm going to, right after this video, I'm going to be keep on painting. So I'm going to be giving you guys a lot of videos this uh, today and this weekend. Because I'm running a little uh, behind on all the, um, the, the requests I'm getting. I still uh, promised my big brother uh, Gino, I promised him to do a, a red glaze over the bird uh, house. So I'm going to be doing that. And I promised someone that I would pour... I think three or four records on this. So I'm going to be doing that. Taking this down now. So you're going to get a lot of record pouring. Then I bought this one. Isn't that cute? Cute box. Has little hinges on the, uh, on the side. Ooh, they are a bit rusty though. <laughs> Just bought it. But, you know, I was thinking of doing uh, one of the Yupo um, papers on top of this one. And I have another one. A little bit bigger. They're just uh, something that you can put, um, you know, just for decorations. Not really uh, to use it really well. Because they, I don't think they can take much wear and tear. Even a little, a little gap there. I might do something about that though. We'll see, but it should be cute making um, making something out of these little boxes. So I bought those. Then yesterday I went to the uh, paint store and bought some more Liquitex Basics because a lot of people were really happy about me using that brand of paint, so I will. And I bought this. I couldn't resist. Is this cute or what? Um, I'm not sure if you have these in America or in other countries. They are called uh, insect hotels. Isn't that cute? And my, uh, my husband said, you know, what kind of food are you going to be putting in? I said, it's not for food. It's not a bed and breakfast. It's only a bed. They just uh, go in there and uh, I don't know, I think they make little families in there. And uh, they can go up in here. There's uh, wood shavings in there. And here they have these little holes they can climb into. Here they can climb into. This one is hollowed so they can climb in. And this is the bigger one for the bigger flying stuff. I'm going to be hanging it up uh, in a tree. So uh, I'll be um, very uh, curious to see how fast uh, insects go uh, get into one of these. And they have them really, really big and uh, all sizes. But I thought I'd just check one out. And I I'm not sure if you have them in America. So they're called insect hotels. And if they don't, maybe that would be like the best business you could start. Because lots of people are starting to uh, care about the insects too. I just heard yesterday on the news that the normal bees are almost uh, close to in instincts being instinct. And that is uh, troubling because we need those bees to uh, pollinate fruit and, and flowers and vegetables and all kinds of stuff. So that is um, that is something that I'm worried about. Oh well. 
Okay, uh, the donations. So, thank you all for everything you do, you guys do, and I pr appreciate every single one of you. And I'm gonna be, you know, if this gets to more people donating, because I'm seeing that a lot of people, uh, even now, we're not even in April, and I've already got one uh, one of these full. Then I'll be doing a, a, a few more uh, giveaways because I don't want to be greedy or something like that. So we'll see where it ends. So these are my little ones. I thought I'd just show you just in one uh, one big display. These are my tiny tiny canvases, and um, some of them I I when I look at them again, I'm thinking, wow, did I do that? Like this one, I really love this one. Lots of people wanting me, I know. So you can see um, really beautiful cells in this one. And then the cells that have all those colors in them, they're pretty. So these I'm gonna be um, varnishing today or tomorrow, just uh, with a spray varnish. But this video, I want to uh, varnish this one that I did a while back. And, um, the one I did yesterday, it's ready, it's dry, so I'm going to be varnishing this one. Then um, I can see the silicone on the, I don't know if you guys can pick it up on the camera, but you can see the silicone sort of leaving uh, greasy marks. So I'm going to uh, take that off before I varnish. And, oh, that person, I don't know who that is, but i got to go look in a bit. So... Here's the uh, one from two days ago. It's nice and dry. The only thing that I don't understand is I get a lot of questions about the paint, that it dries up really matte. So I don't understand that because my paint colors don't really change much. You know, varnishing them doesn't bring out the color more. It just gives them a nice glossy finish. But other than that, it just, um, the color is, is vibrant and intense. So I'm not really sure um, what's going on with the paints you're using. It might be uh, brand related. That could be. So they're pretty. And we'll be doing the varnishing on those. So now I'll be taking these away because these I'm going to be varnishing outside with the spray. I can't do that inside because that stuff stinks. Something off, really. And if you do, I, I wouldn't, I wouldn't say you that you should do that inside because I don't think it's healthy. And if you have children or pets or whatever, I think even the plants might get a get a you know kick in the butt of spraying that stuff inside. So always take that outside. <coughs> okay. So what I like to do is uh, just use a very cheap. A varnish it's acrylic varnish gloss you can choose gloss or matte and um, most people like the uh, the varnish on these paintings they like them really glossy so that's what I'm gonna do and just shake up your little bottle just like that and what I like to do is water it down a bit because I think a lot of people forget about that watering it down so that's what we're going to do in a bit. But first we have to clean off those um, silicone stains. So let me get my alcohol. That's it. This is 70%. Uh, I think in America they call it rubbing alcohol, something like that. And I bet it's a lot cheaper than this is because... Uh, one like this that is 120 milliliters is about two euros 50. That's pretty uh, expensive. So what I like to do is put it on a cloth and in a quick motion go over the uh, the surface. You see that there's no uh, residue so you're not taking any color off. All you're really doing is making sure the uh, alcohol gets into the silicone and picks it up off the uh, canvas. 
but do it do it in a fast motion I think that's good you can see there's no pink on there whatsoever and keep uh, taking a new a new clean piece piece of cloth and just lightly over there see nothing nothing on the cloth so don't be afraid In the art shop I was yesterday, they, they told me that really there's no need to uh, varnish these things because uh, there is um, ingredients in the, of, in the acrylic paint that seals it by itself. But because we use this to pour, um, there are some little pinholes in these paintings. And I've heard that of a lot of people. They all say, you know, I got these little pinholes. I say, yep, I get them too. And I try to avoid them, but you can't always avoid the little pinholes. So that's a pretty uh, heavy duty rub down. And as you can see, there's nothing on the cloth. So all it does is sort of take off the uh, silicone. Okie dokie. Now to the varnish. You can do this a couple of ways. You can do it like this. You uh, put some in a, a little cup, get your brush nice and moist, and then just do a little bit of diluting the varnish. Just a little bit more. That's about it. Whoops, there it goes. And just in a quick motion, just the top first, because I like uh, to ha have it uh, multi-layered. Very lightly. You have to do this in a really nice, delicate motion. Because you don't want to leave those brush strokes. They're ugly. Of course, if you do a lot of layers, you will get a little bit of a brush stroke. <clears throat> but not that, you know, thick a brush stroke. I don't like that. So then the last, see how my hand goes whit, 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 very softly and very fast to avoid these strokes. Now, if you can see it, I don't know if the light's going to pick it up, but there's not one brush stroke on there. There is no separating uh, because there's silicone on there. We are talking total coverage. See how, how beautiful it looks already? And this is just the first layer. The first couple of layers, you want to um, do them uh, thinner than normal because you want to get all that uh, varnish in the little pinholes and just in between everything. And because you're working on canvas, you get the little linen structure so you want that in there if you're like me and you can't wait for this stuff to dry you can also get a little hair dryer so I got this little tiny hair dryer which I can't show you because my cord is too short <laughs> but you can hear it That's about all you need. <coughs> I'm going to check now because uh, I want to make sure that it is dry. Yep, it is totally dry. So this can be a very quick process if you do it, you know, the way that I showed you, like watering down the acrylic varnish a bit. And then I'll show you the other way you can do it. If you're not, if you don't have access to these kind of brushes, what you're looking for is these really um, synthetic brushes with very fine hairs. That's what you're looking for. But like I said, if you can't find them, I'm getting in my cupboard, then you can find these. And I'm sure they have them at the dollar shops. Because this um, 
uh, I have five and they cost, I think, 20 cents a piece, 20 or 25 cents a piece. And what you can do is, um, well, that's funny. It doesn't even fit in here. Why not? Let me see. Yeah, it's going in. So what you can do before you start is um, make it a little moist, the little rubber rubber thing. And I'll do that right now. So you make it moist so it doesn't pick up that much of that acrylic varnish. So what you do is just uh, put the varnish on the uh, canvas like this. And you can already see that it's um, uh, picking up the varnish, but also that the uh, because of the sponge is uh, moist, that it automatically uh, takes care of the thickness of that varnish. So just like this, over the sides, down here and down there. And you do see a little bit of bubbles, you do. But then you come with your torch. And just torch it like uh, paint with bubbles. Just like that. Not too long in one place, people, because you'll burn the, uh, you'll burn it. Just make, make smooth motions, vertical, and then smooth motions, horizontal. And then you let it dry. Because um, this is going to dry again. And this again, this is a very thin layer because it is being diluted by the brush or by the little roller that is filled with water. So we have two layers on right now and that's when I let it dry and I like to let it dry uh, through and through and then I sign it and then I go to the next layers. So this is just two layers at the moment and you already see that it is pretty shiny. So I like it already. But we'll just let it dry and I'll clean this stuff up and I'll drink my little bit of coffee with you guys. And then um, uh, offline I'm going to be doing those other two. But you know, you get the, um, you get the idea of how to do this. And normally you could even right now use a hair, hair dryer and just blow dry this thing and then put on your next layer. But when you get to the last two layers, I wouldn't be do using the hair dryer. Just let it dry naturally. This doesn't take that long. It's about, I think, in between layers of an hour. You could just put it aside and get something else to do. But that's about it. So, there we go. I hope uh, this is making the whole varnish thing clear. After this one, when I've done those couple of more layers, I'll take it outside and give it one final layer with a, s a spray lacquer. And that is also an acrylic based spray lacquer. You can ask for it in an art shop or you can go to a very, uh, one of those big chain uh, shops, you know, where, where the acrylic spray is very cheap. But you have to watch out, it has to be acrylic. So, that's about it. Have I forgot anything else? Have I showed you guys everything I wanted to show? I think so. I think so, yeah. Okay, so this was the varnish bit. And again, I'm thanking everyone for uh, the donation thing. And lots of people still don't know where the donation link is. It's under the video. If you click on the little, little pull down menu, you'll see a lot of information. And, um, the next painting I'll be doing, I'll be doing on the, uh, on the other camera, the Nikon. I'll show you guys how I do that. Whoopsie de boopsie, I have to put on. I have a stabilizing thing. Okay, this is where, see those two strings? 
up at the up in the light see those two strings these two that's where I hang my iPad in <laughs> and then I have this metallic thing which I stick on my iPad to stabilize it a bit and then I have this one which I use to uh, video also but it doesn't have the good view see that you, you don't get the real close-up thing there you go it doesn't give you a good close-up not like the iPad does on the ceiling but I, I do try to, um, and then there's the daylight lamps to give you a little bit of a good look at the colors. See how bright they are? It didn't lose much. And you can even pick up the metallic. Let's see, right there, look at that. And there's metallic up here. But you can pick that up. And there's a lot of metallic in that one. The blue came out better. That was good. That's the shiny one. Okay, I'm gonna get this on YouTube real fast before someone has to drink coffee without one of my videos. So thank you all for watching this video and see you in the next one. Bye-bye.